What the? It just jumped. And in a five, four, three, two, one. Presto, change all battle. Hey guys, welcome back as always. My name is Lazar. And as you can plainly see, my friends, it's finally that wonderful time again. Battle time. And with a bit of luck, there will be no more Javi scrolling this time. <clears throat> the brand new item is. Okay, it's not Javi scrolling. It's not Javi. Prime Spider Infested? Don't don't we have that? This is not new. This is this is really not new. I has it. The Paris the Paris Zebra skin. Yeah. You guys remember the Paris is actually quite cool. It has a hook and then you do the thing. Maybe I should update the guide on this one. Huh? What do you guys say? Are we sure this is it? Well, hey, look. It's not Javi scrolling. Huh? So there you go. But in any case, let's take a look at the more important stuff. We're talking about the weapons and the mods. Prime Smite Infested for melee. This is smiting that infested, that faction modifier. Honestly, against the infested, you don't really need that. Especially if you're going to be running melee anyway. But of course, if you are that damage whore, you're going to be needing yourself the faction modifier as well. Crash Course, 120% impact for rifles. No. No. Hell no, you can farm it from the game and it's worthless on 99.9% .9 of builds. And I know what you're going to ask. Hold on. What's that 001% when you're actually going to use Crash Course? I, I don't think there is. One, no, because you see, adding uh, the elementals to a weapon is one thing, but adding the IPS impact, puncture, and slash, that is the physical types, while it does provide a very slight damage increase, what it does primarily is basically mess around with the proc priority or elemental weight. So, plus impact? Nah, not really. Prime Ravage. Now, this is critical damage for your shotguns. There's no questions about it. This is a prior one. You gotta get yourself this one. At least a copy. And maybe a couple of more copies to sell later on. Make a buck. Make a profit. Prime Chilling Grass. Another must-have. Again, for shotguns, we're looking at 165% cold damage. In more modern times, this has been getting more and more use. Check the latest guides. So, prior one on this one and this one. And you can skip the others. As for the weapons, where we got Prisma Krakata. It's time. Listen, D, it's time. It's time for Incarna. Incarna? Incarnan Gracata. Simply because this is Clem's weapon, right? And Clem is an icon. The original Call. I guess I shouldn't insult Clem by calling him Call, but that's not important. What is important? Give us an Incarnan Gracata because it is a Warframe icon. And as it stands now, it simply cannot compete. I mean, don't get me wrong, it can kill up until level 200, even 300 ish, depending on the build, yada yada, etc. But it simply cannot compete with the latest and greatest. What else we got? We got Prisma Machete. Is this the best machete in the game? No! The other machete is. Well, if you don't count Zaws, that is. If you count Zaws, ah, forget about Zaws. Just get the Machete Wraith. It's simply this, but better. So, there you go. For the most part, Mastery far, But being melee, all you gotta do is press E and win at the game. Unless, unless, Tenno, you're playing on mobile. If you got yourself an iOS device or low self-esteem, therefore, you can simply get close to your enemies and melee is automatic. Yeah! Didn't you always want that? No? No, well, well, you got it now. So, there you go. And the rest will be cosmetic, which are subjective and entirely up to you. What well, can I tell you? You can get yourself the broom and mop set, what you always wanted. You can get yourself some stuff for your operator slash drifter. Uh, masks and helmets and Nikana skins that you can make yourself look all ninja-y and stuff. If you don't have Enos, pick up the Sands of Enos Blueprint, which will eventually lead you to the Warframe. And take a look at that, a Faypath Ephemera, one of the cheaper Ephemera, one of the uncool Ephemeras. You don't want to use the uncool Ephemeras, you want to use the cool Ephemeras. A tier color palette, which is subjectively nice. I don't know, people talk more about this cosmetic stuff. I don't really care all that much. I'm here to tell you about the actual important bits, the functional stuff. And I do believe, my friends, that is pretty much it. As always, my name is Malazar. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like, every channel, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. But before you go, aren't you hunkering? Is that a word? Might be a word. A hunkering for more Warframe content? Yeah, yeah. I really hope you are. Click the cards right now for more fantastic Warframe content. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Manage not to fuck up the voice for around this one. It's good.